Hey, this is Eric Redvig, and I'm here with Nate Ahern. Hello, everybody. Gears of War 3 has been announced. The first trailer is out. We are here to dissect it and bring you a few details that you might have missed the first time watching it. So here we have a city that's been completely just beat to hell. You know, people have been frozen in place. They're made of ash now, because of presumably because of the bomb that they launched at the end of the second game. It would seem that way. So now humanity's kind of on the run. They're, they're very much on the brink of extinction here. Right, I mean, here we have Dom coming into the frame. Everything here, look at he's running away, things are blowing up around him, he's just trying to, he just, you just feel like he's just trying to get, he's trying to make it somewhere, he's trying to, trying to survive, like you just said, like the rest of humanity. Oh, what a sweet beard he's got, 28 months have passed since Gears of War 2, Dom's taking this time to get some facial hair, which I like, I mean he looks, he looks more mature, he looks a little bit more, more, more grizzled. Hey, you know, not everyone has time to shave when they're on the run. <laughs> So what, uh, what's the name of the song again, Eric? I know you, just, you told me it earlier. This is uh, Hair and Blue by Sun Kill Moon. Right, right, right. And here we have the main character of Gears, Marcus, with his new weapon, a double-barreled shotgun. I cannot wait to use that. And sleeveless. He's sleeveless now, which is good, right? He's, he's got his big arms going. And so perhaps that hints at some character customization. Maybe you'll be right, able to... Right, right. The armor is different. Like, yeah, yeah, people are wearing different, different headgear in this. Maybe, yeah, maybe... The, like, Cliff a long time ago said that... Uh, RPG elements can make their way into Gears of War 3. Maybe this is an inkling towards that. And there we see the classic Locus, Locus and enemy. The weapons. Oh, my favorite new thing that they showed in this trailer is this weapon right there. That is the Pendulum Lancer, which is an old school model of the weapon that pre-chainsaw, you notice there's actually just a bayonet on the end. Ah, oh, so gritty, so much blood, so many intestines, gonna be fun. And then our, the single Gears of War female character here. We think it's Anya. She's blonde. She's beautiful. She's got awesome armor. And, and she will and, now be playable in this game. That's right. That's awesome. Good for, uh, good for all the lady gamers. Oh, two, old, two of our favorite old characters, Coltrane and Dom. Or, I'm sorry, Coltrane and Baird. Mm -hmm. Baird, not, not so blonde. Maybe because the sun's gone away. He's not as blonde. He's a little bit more brown. Glasses look a little different. Again, uh, Cole's got a new little headband there. Still rocking the Lancer, though. Yep, still rocking the, uh, the new school Lancers, not the Pendulum Lancers. And then this thing, what? I mean, we know it's Lambent. We get that it's Lambent, but we've never seen this thing before. It doesn't resemble Locust at all. In Gears of War 2, all the Lambent were, you know, possessing the mm -hmm. Locust that we knew. We don't know what this is. I mean, Eric, tell me, what, what, do you, what do you think? It kind of seems like now the Lambent has taken on its own form, and it, it kind of morphs, and it's going to just totally destroy the locusts and the humans. Just doesn't care what you are, it's gonna kill you. Oh, Marcus is so mad. And there's so many of them, there's this giant thing behind it. We thought this tentacle thing was big, but now there's this huge thing. Now we're not sure if these are independent of each other because there seems to be four here. It could be yeah, just could different be, arms of the same It could be different arms beast. of the same huge thing, like a hive mind creature, or it could be just these little tentacle things spouting up in four different locations. Either way, it's trouble. Oh, that beard. In, the, in this final shot here, I know you want to mention, mm -hmm. everybody, they're surrounded now. It, not only does it allude to the, 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 the point that we made about surviving and everything's kind of closing in, they're just trying to make it, make it through every day, but being surrounded is more like what Gears of War 1 delivered, right? Not, not what Gears exactly. of War 2. Gears of War 1 had this cover, everything comes at you from all angles mechanic, and I was a little bit lost in Gears 2, and they might be going back to that. You also notice there's five characters here, but uh, we've had confirmation now that there's four-player co-op in the campaign. Which is big and exciting, and hopefully they can, they can change co-op a little bit from what they've done the first two in the first two games. And again, this, oh, this could also be a horde, a horde mode. It could be a horde map, you know, just with enemies coming in. What do you think about these crawly things, Eric? What, what they are look, they? They look a little bit like they're straight out of Starship Troopers, but they're probably, you know, kind of this enemy that comes at you as a, uh, like you say, a horde of them all right. at once. You get a lot of enemies and maybe they will actually be the things that possess right, other right. locusts and then cause them to attack you maybe with like, right. uh, like Craw Crawling through your mouth or something, ripping, you know, ripping through your body and then you stand up and you're kind of like a zombie a character. A little alien-esque. Controlled, right, controlled could, by the land. You could bed. definitely see a game mechanic where you have to shoot them before they get to the locusts so that the locusts then become more powerful once, right. they, once they've been possessed. Right. And there we go. Brothers to the End. And you notice they, of course, highlight the end. This is the close of the Gears the of War final trilogy. trilogy. April 2011. Cliff said April 8th, which I guess is a European and date. April 5th in the U.S. A right, few days right. Earlier. And you notice how the logo, I don't know if this is important or not, but the logo sort of expands here into the E. Which okay. I think it's, yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it means anything. If, the, if it's like reminiscent of the lamb bent kind of expanding and taking over things. But it could be. You never know. Or it could just be blood. <laughs> 
All right, well, this has been Nate Ahern with Eric Brudvig. Thanks so much for uh, tuning into the Rewind Theater for Gears of War 3. For more, head to IGN.com.